separate video I talked about MREs and using them as a food source exclusively or stockpiling them. Now, I'm not all about having one thing to stockpile that will roll over all, right? So I wanted to talk about something that's more in the more in the realm of long-term long-term food storage, and it's just one item of a few that I actually think is a good idea to have on hand. Inexpensive, calorie dense, it's been done for millennia. Hardtack or ship's biscuit. So this stuff, I understand. Uh, being in a militia, going out in the field and stuff, you want to have comfort items, maybe canned food. You want to have your snacks, your raisins, your your trail mix, or and uh, the other fatties that you want to have, maybe the MREs and all the skills or whatever. I get that. I, I was out in the field, been on deployment. I know what it's like to have bland rations and stuff. However, things like hardtack are not made for comfort. They're made out of necessity, and therefore that's why... I'm bringing it up as a subject. If you actually need to be used and you're actually out there during the boogaloo, uh, then you might actually need hard tech. You might have, you know, thought maybe it would have been a good idea to have a, uh, a bread ration that is good long term. So here's an example. If you're part of a militia and you have several people that are involved in like logistics or basically people that are in non-combat roles uh, that want to be part of something, but they can't be part of the combat aspect, nurses and stuff like that, the doctors or, or whatever, uh, people that uh, keep, a, keep a household or whatever, a safe house uh, clean and safe or whatever, uh, then maybe you want to have people that just sit there and make, uh, make hardtack, make, make uh, parts corn, make jerky, make, uh, make long-term uh, food storage, uh, uh, make long-term food storage one of the things they do as far as the logistics and stuff like that. So uh, that's an example of uh, what I would do. It stays, if you put it in a good container or if you um, store it properly, it can last almost forever. Like the Civil War hardtack, you know, it, it, some of it's still actually good today. It's in a museum, but it could still actually be eaten. There's no mold. As long as it's in a cool, dry place and it's uh, sealed, then you're good to go. It'll last a long time. So, anyways, uh, basically, my my argument for um, for basically hardtack or ship's biscuit or whatever is it is a great supplement and it is very calorie dense. And it's not. There's ways that you can use it. You can uh, you can basically soak it or uh, soften it in a way. Like one of the ways that you can do it, like if you're in the rear or you're you're able to actually boil water and make like your little mountain house meals and you're actually able to boil water, what I would do is I would uh, crush up the hardtack, put it inside the mountain house meal, mix it up and then put the water in. It'll do two things. Number one, you're adding the nutrients, which we'll get to, uh, from the hardtack. You're also going to soak up a little bit of the extra water because mountain house meals typically recommend you put more water than you actually need to put in there. Uh, so that's one of the things that it can help. I wouldn't put in like the eggs or anything, but uh, something like this one, the tur turkey dinner casserole or whatever, probably, it would probably go good with it. But something like that, maybe even the macaroni one. Uh, so uh, there's ways to basically use it. Like uh, for me, I would nibble on it. Uh, and I just eat this stuff straight up because of the way I make it, and I'll get to that. It doesn't affect really storage life, but there is ways that you can... Uh, affect storage life, but also improve taste, and we'll get to that. But anyways, you can nibble on it or uh, suck on it. It's good for eating on the move. And you can also basically like dip it in like coffee or something like that. You can crush it up and add it to a trail mix uh, or or uh, whatever. Uh, it, yeah, there, there, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. Just use your imagination. So. Uh, the next thing I, I wanted to uh, kind of talk about is uh, really making it. Making it's really easy. So it's just three ingredients, the three basic ingredients, and then you can add or, you know, whatever. Uh, so it's for, like, making ten of these three by three crackers that I have here, uh, you're looking at <clears throat> basically taking two cups of flour and then one cup of water, two teaspoons of salt. You can add a little more salt if you wish. Uh, and then 
basically rolling out the dough and uh, you know I'm working it in or whatever and uh, rolling out the dough cutting it into three by three roughly three by three you'll probably get about ten of these out of the two cups of flour and it's very inexpensive and it's calorie dense I mean uh, for five pounds uh, getting five pounds of flour it, it costs like two dollars and then you can get the salt like collect it from your fast food restaurants if you want to or or whatever you can get the salt that way I mean you can just grab a handful of salt and most people won't give you a bad an eye at it but whatever um, <clears throat> but anyways after you roll out the dough and cut it up into pieces go ahead and uh, poke it as many holes as you can through there the more holes you poke the better it's going to dry out and that's the big thing is you're getting all the moisture out that's the point of hardtack is you're it's taking the moisture out that's how it's preserved it keeps bacteria out right so then you put it in an oven for 30 minutes on each side at 350 uh, 350 degrees 30 minutes on each side so 30 minutes on this side flip it over 30 minutes on that side should be completely dry let it cool in the oven on after that 30 minutes that way the excess heat is still kind of cooking it but 350 is not going to burn it so you're good but it will draw the moisture out so <clears throat> that's basically how you make it now let's go ahead and talk about flavorings and softening so here's the thing if you still have the ability to cook after the boogaloo and you have these people that are making all this stuff if you're going to use this hardtack or this bread ration uh, within a few months of it being made have them add honey have them add honey to it have them add uh, uh, sugar and maybe even leavening if you want to uh, or leavening or whatever you want to call it butter or something like that so uh, another thing you can do that won't affect the storage life of it is what I do is I actually add dry spices I added oregano to my last batch it actually improved the taste also I added a little more salt because this would actually be the kind of food that I would eat on the move I would I actually would just nibble on it on the move um, and from my experience from deployments and hiking and camping and stuff when I'm on the move and I'm burning calories and I'm burning water I want more salt my body's gonna want more salt and I am really gonna be receptive and I'm gonna really be craving foods that have salt in them so <clears throat> I typically add a little bit more salt uh, but for me I actually like the way I make this stuff so I don't really need to add anything for flavor uh, I can nibble on it and each one of these blocks this 3x3 three three, it's about 100 calories and here's the thing it, it has a uh, um, depending on the flour you use uh, they recommend you use bleached um, bleached enriched flour uh, for the longest storage and you know it, it's today most flours are enriched some way unless you go with the organic version you can use whatever flour you want really <clears throat> but the one that's going to last the longest is for whatever reason is going to be the bleached flours so it's highly processed but uh, generally speaking the vitamin content you're looking at vitamin E you're looking at uh, a, a good amount of carbs because it's bread right so it's gonna be carbs a little bit of protein it's gonna have niacin and thiamine so uh, what those do is those are really good and it will have manganese and stuff like that but and copper and kind of lower um, you know percentage on how much you need per day but it still gives you some of that uh, so and that's just in a cup of flour but generally speaking all those vitamins are essential for your nervous system functions and also essential for your digestive system and your immune system so the enriched flours probably your best bet as far as like not only getting your calories but you're also getting a good amount of energy so bleach is going to be the closest to consuming straight up sugar whereas the unbleached it's closer to being raw so it's going to take more for your body to process it but it does slightly retain a little bit more nutrients but it doesn't last as long uh, but <clears throat> anyways uh, with these enriched uh, flowers you can get more vitamins and stuff like that more than what they were getting back in the Civil War so you're not gonna deal with malnutrition as as much but you still need to break it up as I said mix it with like some trail mix like dried fruits uh, dried nuts like maybe some dried vegetables if you if you can you know uh, do what you can but uh, with all that said 
I think that hardtack is a very viable option for long-term sustained food supply. You can make a lot of it, store it properly, and it'll last you practically forever if you do it properly. And if the situation allows, you can actually stretch out, like if you're a part of a militia and you actually, as a group, are storing things like Mountain House Meals, MREs, you know, whatever, you can get your hands on canned food and all that stuff, you can actually stretch out these comfort items a bit by basically integrating <clears throat> this, this really old technique of food preservation. Just integrate it. It's very inexpensive and it actually gives you a lot of good stuff. But is it good all on its own? No. But again, it's a good supplement and it helps extend the life of your canned food and stuff like that while giving you nutrients. So anyways, that's my rant about hardtack or ship's biscuit. Hope you guys will consider it. Go ahead and leave a comment below about what you think. Uh, and uh, I appreciate all the correspondence. So go ahead and check out my Facebook and my blog. And it's all linked in the description below. But thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a good one.